Hi everyone, CCOB1 Kenobi here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mix more cups. I did a bunch of sports teams. As always, I had to make a Bronco and Colorado Avalanche cup. However, I have friends all over the place and they love their sports. So I did the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Steelers, Michigan State, all sorts of stuff. Today, I'm going to show you how I hydro dipped it and use my X-Tool laser to engrave them. I know not a lot of people have the X-Tool, but if you can get one, I recommend it. If not, I always say buy a decal or paint it on yourself. Have fun with it. I'm going to dip the cups in water with a bunch of spray paint. It's a type of hydro dipping that turns out amazing. After that, we engrave it with the laser. And then last of all, we're going to put some epoxy on it to make them shine. I really hope you like my videos. Check out some of my other stuff. Don't forget, give me that thumbs up, like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. The bell icon will let you know when I post another video. Hope you really enjoyed this. Thanks. Bye. Alright guys, time to have some fun. Go ahead and pick whatever colors you want of spray paint and spray it all over the water. You're going to want to have a good coverage on the top of the water. Mix it up with whatever paint you want. Then take your tumbler and push it down evenly. You want to make sure to try to make this as even as possible so the paint doesn't clump up on the tumbler. If it does, not a big deal. Just take some sandpaper or razor blade and knock down the ridges. Once you're happy with the coverage, we're going to move on to the soap. Take your color that you want the outer part of the cup to be and some Dawn dish soap. I use two different types of soap. Normal kind and I make sure to go vertical, horizontal, all over. This gives really fun lines. And then some spray. This spray lets you see the underneath color a lot better. Now we're going to do a thick coat of that top layer of paint. We're talking real thick. Once you have it fully covered, go ahead and give it a good spin cycle wash, and there you go. We're going to let this dry, and then move on to the decal. Like I said, you can buy decals or paint them on yourself. But I use my X tool. Super glad I invested in this. Can't wait to get the 40 watt or the infrared one that does metal. Power this on, send the decal over to the rotary. If you're using the rotary like I did, make sure you mirror your image so it doesn't come out backwards. You don't want to leave the room because this can start fires, but hey, once you're done, you get some awesome results. I put these on the turner and got my epoxy mixed up. I did one layer of epoxy and made sure to come back and hit it with a heat gun every 30 minutes for the first couple hours to make sure there's no bubbles. Like I said, the different sports teams and the different colors turned out pretty darn cool. Once the epoxy dried overnight, and these are the final results. Don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Well, what'd you think? I really hope you like my videos. Give me that thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. It really helps me. 
Hopefully, I'll be posting another one shortly that you'll enjoy. Let me know down below what you might like to see. I appreciate all comments. Thanks again. See you soon.